Hey guys, welcome to game three between Exit and Grast. Bottom right hand corner, we have Grast starting as the yellow Terran. Upper left hand corner, we have Grast starting as the blue Protoss. This is on Polypoid. And thus far, Exit has been controlling these matches. He's up two to nil. This is a best of seven. Wish I had fancy grab, and I think based on the way that uh, Twitch is reacting, I'm gonna leave. It feels unprofessional to me, but it's not like this is my job right now. I would love it to be my job. And actually, on that note, I do have a Patreon. I do have a Twitch. Follow, subscribe, etc. Should actually promote myself. And I'll throw this out there. If you guys want to make graphics for this stuff so I can fancy it up a little bit, please do. It is one of those things where because I actually do have a full-time job, otherwise I haven't had time to do, and I would be deeply appreciative if anybody out there, I don't know, can make banners or something along those lines uh, for me to plop. I actually had After Effects and a bunch of other stuff, but it's just one of those things where I don't have the mental time and energy or the raw time is really what it comes down to, to go ahead and dedicate it to it. I am a father and a husband and an employee someplace else, with a, which has actually been a gentle job in the midst of COVID, but not, uh, in cra not a crazy job. Also, everybody stay safe. Now, with all of that said, and me, I feel like I'm trying to distract you guys from the fact that I accidentally hit Alt instead of Control there. Anyway, we do see a gateway opener, upper left-hand corner. We're seeing it. Are we going to see a cross-map scout? Is Exit hacking? Is that what's happening here? How lucky can you get? Grast starting to scout the upper right-hand corner. Exit going for a cross-map scout, and he's going to come across with a cross-map scout. He's going to end up hitting grass base first. Wow. That's all I have to say to that. I don't think he is map hacking, because honestly, or if he is, he's hiding it really, really well. But that's been, that's incredible. Grast. And here's the thing. I don't, this might throw Grast off. He might go for cross map scout now, because it's not often that players do that. And he is, so he's going to end up coming across exit space last. How unlucky can you get comparatively? Cybernetics core warping in. Zealot is going to be out on the ground. So Grast actually moving to the bottom left-hand corner, and he's going to be very disappointed. Supply Depot up. 3 SCV in gas. Barracks building that first Marine. And Zealot wandering its way out. Looks like that SCV wanted to engage. is actually chasing down that Zealot a little bit. And so now Grasp finding nothing in that bottom right-hand corner. So that Zealot's going to make a beeline. Actually turning around, teching that SCV a little bit. I assume's going to make a beeline to that bottom right-hand corner. Factory on the way. That's an odd placement for that factory. Especially if the machine shop goes down. Haven't seen that yet before. Bunker being built on the front for exit. SCV swing back around for him. Dragoon is there. He's going to be able to see, first of all, the one gateway. Dragoon, Cybernetics Core whirling. I think he's got to assume, and there are, in fact, so there's... Here's an interesting thing, though. There's still just two pylons. Grast is, like, waiting to place that additional pylon. Maybe to do some sort of distraction. The Marines were peeling out. They were hoping to catch the probe in forward field, but upon seeing that Zealot, they're going to go ahead and back off. Factory is up. An initial vulture being built, and the barracks starting to float its way across. And Grast still refusing... Did he put down a pylon that I missed? Another SCV scout moving out. He is really delaying this additional pylon. Maybe playing mind games because he did do the proxy stuff previously. And I think that's what's provoking the additional SCV to move out. So he's got two SCVs that are starting to search now on the map. But it looks like I assume this is going to be an additional nexus for Grast. Yeah, ne uh, additional nexus. And the SCV was killed. But this is, okay, here's how you know that Exit is not map hacking. Because he's like, no third pylon, I gotta find where the cheese is. And he's, you can see him moving all around with his vulture now. Looking for additional gateways somewhere on the map. So a bit of mind game behind, between these two. Two more gateways being plopped down. The vulture starting to move up. Unfortunately, with that Dragoon out of position trying to hunt down SEVs, he's still going to be able to scout everything, but on delay. Oh, still going to be able to get a little uh, handful of kills on top of this. And I'm not sure if this was a... I'm wondering if this was a frustration play from Grast's point of view. The probe's actually doing a pretty good job of battling this vulture back. Two, two probe deaths, a third one. 
The Dragoons trying to make their way back to the main. Third one, the, and that gateway remaining silent. Nothing going right this game for Grast. Absolutely nothing. And that Vulture getting taken out. This is, as far as like long-suffering players, this is like the Artosis version, or at least what we would complain about, the Artosis version of what's happening to Protoss in this match. I don't know how Grast will recover, honestly. He's down to 13 probes. His build order's been spotted. Exit has his natural expansion up. This is interesting. Yeah, I thought that's what would happen here. The machine shop is disrupting some of the SEV, so small mercies. With Exit having a, a bit of trouble with gas with that machine shop and its placement. Siege Tech is upgrading Siege Tank on the way. Maybe Grass can recover, but here's the other thing. Exit's got that SEV at the 12 o'clock base. If Grass was going to try to take additional expansions, maybe, maybe if Grass tries to pull what he pulled in game one and just stopped all construction and went for maybe even two additional Nexuses right here and hoped that Exit went for more of a long-term macro play, he might be able to sneak back into this. Or if he went for some Reaver drop as a follow-up and just crushed just got a crushing amount of SCVs killed. I like this play. Engineering Bay at the 12 o'clock location that he can lift off later. And go from there. But in the meantime, Exit has a much stronger economy. He is getting three factories down. And two machine shops uh, with that. I'm wondering if he's just thinking about ending the game. Grass, I think, is just going to try to do what he can right here. The Dragoons peeling in, trying to get siege tanks. I think he realizes this match is not in his favor, so he wants to just go ahead and dive Dragoons. He might even GG right there. Yeah. Realizing he was just so far behind that it wasn't going to be much, much of a match. He's going to move on to game four. Things looking rough for Grass thus far, I hope. Maybe we'll see a swing around recovery, but thus far, exit controlling everything, top to bottom. 